Have you ever stopped to think about how important batteries are to your day-to-day -day life? What if I told you that you could become a real battery? Hi, my name is Karen. Welcome to Great Lakes Science Center. Today, we'll be looking at the hand battery exhibit. The hand battery really is a battery that uses your body as one of its parts. All batteries have electrodes, separated by some type of electrolyte. An electrolyte is a substance that contains ions, or charged particles. Examples of electrolytes include acids and salts that have been dissolved in water. Our bodies are full of electrolytes. All we need are electrodes. Some batteries work with two different kinds of metals as electrodes. This hand battery uses aluminum and copper rods as the electrodes, and our bodies as the electrolyte. By connecting one type of metal on one side of the battery, to the other kind of metal on the other side of the battery with our hands, our body becomes an electrolyte bride that completes the battery. At the same time, we close the circuit that includes a meter that measures electric current. This meter is called an ohmmeter. In the hand battery, electrons flow from the copper towards the aluminum, which causes the needle on the meter to move. By switching both hands to the other metal, we create a battery that causes electricity to flow in the opposite direction. As long as there is good contact, the electrolyte bridge can include more than one person. Although this battery is not very powerful, batteries can be designed with enough power to power flashlights, toys, and even start car and truck engines. Batteries create direct current electricity. As we can see, the electricity only flows in one direction. But generators create electricity that rapidly flow back and forth. We have many types of generators for you to experiment here at Great Lakes Science Center, including our pedal generator and our breadboard circuits. I hope you enjoyed learning about our hand battery. Come and visit us and see this and many of our other powerful exhibits here at Great Lakes Science Center.